Hey guys, Stephanie here with CreatingTheHeart.Lady.com and today is day six of the March National Craft Month and today, day six, is a mini album. I'm going to be making a mini album out of envelope and uh, I will do, um, I'm doing something different with this video. I'm going to record it through the way and then I'm going to just do a voice override. Um, that way I want, because I've been making these like a couple of videos and my camera keeps kicking me out and I'm having to, um, trim it and fix the video and edit it and then I'll have to add in a little caption so I'm going to try it this way and see if it's better. I'll clear my memory off my phone so now my, my phone should hold all of them and um, let's just go ahead and get started and see how it goes. Here I have my envelopes. Uh, they're normal size envelopes of cleaner four and a half by six and just a little dollar box and then I also have my 12 by 12 chipboard medium weight that I'm going to use for the covers of my book. Here I have my chipboard, 12 by 12 medium weight. And I'm going to use an envelope to measure how big I want it, but I make it a little bit bigger right now so that in case something comes up I can trim down. And you will see later on in the video that I do trim it down. Here I'm taking a pencil and marking the around the edge to cut uh, the backing of the um, it's the second piece of the backing. So now I have both pieces cut out. I'm just getting little frayed pieces from it. Um, and I'll take my scissors and I'll clean the edges up a little bit. Now here I'm just got a little sticky note out. I was writing down the measurements so that I could uh, tell you how much how uh, big they are. And the covers for the book right now is four and a half by seven. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my crocodile uh, punch and use a small centimeter um, hole and punch. punch out holes all punch. the way down the binding to, for the strings to come through. Punch. Here I'm using my ruler and marking little marks uh, down the edge of it and I uh, put a mark at every three and four quarter of an inch. Now here I'm punching the hose out of the uh, chipboard and I go off camera just a little bit uh, in certain parts of it so I can see the dots lined up with. Now here I stacked them on top of each other evenly and I'm using my pins to go through the hole to mark the spot on the second uh, cover. I'm using my crocodile hole punch now to punch out the hose for this uh, cover. Okay, so I know how those done and now I'm just uh, kind of picking off the edges of frays that uh, it left and um kind of keep them kind of getting it neat, neatly cut um here i'm getting the envelopes and uh getting them ready to glue them together to show you how i'm gonna make the pages you'll see here that the opening of the um envelope the outer part of it will be glued to the other envelope of the outer part same way so we've got a back to back so it makes a little tab for 
for the inside part of the page. I'm just using my ATG gun to uh, heat, uh, adhere the two envelopes together and I'm just putting the glue on the corner tab of the envelope, not the whole envelope. So you see me now put, um, putting pressure a little bit on the envelope so it shows a tab and then I'm going to make another one just like it on the same way that we did the first one. Now with these uh, two envelopes here, I'm going to do to tape all the way the all the way around the edge. See if I can speak today. Um, I'm not going to have no tabs up on here, and it's going to kind of help support, make it a little bit thicker for the book. So here I'm just lining it up together and putting a little pressure on it to help seal it. And uh, then the next two pages, are we doing the same thing for them? I went off camera here. I was getting um, my paper ready to <laughs> use to cover the envelopes with, to decorate them with. Here I'm just using the Prima uh, Cartographer uh, 6x6 paper pad. So here as I'm uh, going through the paper pads, um, I end up using a scripture piece of paper and a brown piece of paper. And one of the reasons um, that I like the Prima paper pads, uh, the 6x6, is they're thick, so it gives it more sturdiness to the pages. And uh, I really like it that they're, that they're thick like that because it's um, very supportive to a project that you're doing. And here you say that I end up using a map with the uh, scripture page. And then now I'm using the Seven Gypsies Travel 6x6 paper pad. Um, and the map that I got at the Prima, it's a little light for my liking, so you'll see later on what I do to get it to uh, fit more with the other browns and tans that I have for this project. And then now here you'll see me um, getting the paper ready to, to glue to the envelope. Um, the paper sticks out more on the side, but it's not long enough for the envelope. But you'll see later on what I do to cover up the white strip. So here I'm using my ATG gun to adhere the paper to the envelope. Okay, so now I'm adhering the uh, map <clears throat> to the envelope. And as you can see, I switched sides because I wanted more of the map to show on it instead of more of the opened ocean. So I switched sides so that he'd get more of that. And then I had to peel it back off because I um, put it on a little crooked, so I had to fix it. Um, cutting off the excess that's left over. Here I um, ran out of paper to cover all of them. I didn't get all enough, enough paper out at first, so I'm getting some more. And here I'm using the Tim Holtz Craft Core Shattered Collection 6x6 paper pad. And I'm using kind of like the orangish brown, not the darkest, but uh, and not the lightest, but kind of in between. And then I decided to use the Tim Holtz with Tonic Studios uh, Distressor to, dis to distress the edges to make it more roughy looking. I know I'm off screen here, but all I'm doing is still roughing up the edges.
and here I just uh, measured it on the <clears throat> envelope to see how long it is and trimmed it down that way I can go ahead and um, rough up that edge as well so it won't be a straight edge on the after I've trimmed the excess off. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue it down to my envelope. These here is the envelopes that has the tabs in them. I'm going to use the leftover parts from the pages before to collage on the outside and the inside. Here I'm just distressing one of the uh, leftover scrap pieces so I can make it distress as well to match the other Tim Holtz cardstock that I made on the other envelope page. Okay, so now I'm ready to go ahead and uh, adhere it down to my envelope. I'll be cutting out pieces as well as uh, gluing um, long pieces on there as, as well. Okay, so here you see I'm using the scripture to go over the edge of the white envelope. <clears throat> and I'll be cutting it down and then just gluing it, adhering it there. So you can go ahead and see through the video what I'm doing. I'm just cutting off pieces to fill up the white spaces. <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and uh, let it fast forward through and um, till I get to the next part I need to explain to, explain to you. Here I'm getting back out the paper pads so that I can find some um, uh, something else to put on the empty bottom spaces. I uh, pick um, a car a, piece, a paper out of the Prima cartography page of um, post its and little letters, and then I also pick one of uh, the little square pictures that you see right now, um, and then I also pick one that has like. Um, postage and travel-ish looking on here as well. And then I'll also pick another map. So here I'll be showing how I do the inside of my of the ta uh, envelope, the tag, as well as the inside there that I'm showing you. Okay, so here I'm doing the first inner page. I'm gluing it down. I'll just be using papers and pieces of the leftover uh, scraps to um, 
collage it all together so it, it matches the rest of the pages. So I'll go ahead and let it play through this and be back when I need to explain some more. So here now I'm showing you I'm going to use the paper that has like the little cards and little notes and stuff on them. I'm going to cut them out and um, adhere them to the tab. And uh, you have to be careful with this. You've got to place it right or else if you don't collage it right then it'll look like some pictures are upside down, some sideways. So try to be careful to keep them all the same way so it don't look too dramatically or nothing. Now I'm working on the other side of the tab, just putting some tape strips throughout the piece so that if it's a small piece or a short piece, it'll fit. But sometimes you start to go in there and add some more glue to certain pieces. Now here you see that some of the pieces are left over, so all I'm doing is cutting off the excess, cutting around the shape of the envelope so it matches the envelope tag. Now here I'm using the um, script paper scrap to cover the bottom part of the watt that shows on the page of the envelope. And then you'll see me in a second using my uh, EK Success tweezers to remove it some to where I can put the curly script of it um, behind it. I want to hit behind it. So I'm, I'm pulling it apart now to go ahead and do that. I'm doing the same thing for the other side of the part, putting more scriptures down um, to kind of help match it and keep the pages together. And so I'm going ahead and use my ATG to hear it down. That part there shows that it's a little bit showing the white part of the envelope still, but don't worry about that because you can always put a ribbon or a bookmark or something through it and um, to cover help cover it up. Here I'm using my Craft Bond um, glue pen to glue in the um, edge of the envelopes that come apart when I had trimmed some of the paper down. It um, kind of opened the papers up, so I'm using it to glue it down with. And I had a little complications with it, but once I got it coming out, it worked fine.
here I'm uh, getting some paper out of the Seven Gypsies Travel 6x6 paper pad of a uh, tannish paper that looks no. like it's been folded and as well hey. as getting um, the dark paper, dark brown paper that has the map on the other side. Here I'm using some of the pictures from the thing to cut out to uh, use for the border. Now here I'm just using the Martha Stewart bone folder to um, help seal the crease down a little tighter so it'll um, bend the pictures that I would take on, the, on top of the edges of stuff to uh, fold with the uh, envelope page. Here I'm covering up the white part with some more of those little pictures to help make a border for the page. Here I'm just trimming off the excess and uh, cleaning up the, the, the edges of it better. And now I'm going to um, show you where the envelopes that we've tagged together that has the tags inside. Um, I'm using my original Alina's Tacky Glue to glue in the edges together there a little bit more closer because they're a little bulged up. And uh, then I will use some little binder clips as well as some little paper clips to hold it together while it dries.
Here I'm just using some more binder clips to and paper clips to help seal the second page that we glued together. Now I'm going to leave it to the side to let them dry for a little bit. And while I'm letting them dry, I am going to get out my um, Tim Holtz Distressed Ink of the color Vintage Photo and my blending tool. And we're going to ink the edges. Um, the blending tool is by Ranger. And um, you want to start off with your page going onto your page. And um, I'm going all the way down the edge. And then with the map that I just pointed at, I'm going to color in hit to make it a little bit more duller. So it's not so bright white map. So uh, you can see here that I'm just uh, going off the edge, going into the edge. And uh, I'll do all the edges like this as well as go inside the creases between the two envelopes of each page. And um, all around the edges. And then you'll see later on how I do the inside of the tag with the ones that has the tags up. On them. I'm also putting some of the uh, distressed ink on top of the crackled paper. That way it kind of goes in those little grooves and kind of gives it more of a distressed look as well, like a vintage old look. Here I'm showing you I'm also going over the uh, scriptures page giving him a little bit more distressed color look as well so I'm doing all the pages the same way and just inking the edges and um, going into the pages of it some to kind of help give it and as you say I'm showing there it's vintage photo now I got those pages done and I forgot about the other pages sitting over there so I put my ink pad and stuff up for now and then just to get them back out in a little bit to ink the other pages once they get dried. Now here I am uh, using the um, cover to mark on my pages of the spots where I need to use my crocodile punch to uh, punch up the holes in the pages as well. Here I'm um, undoing the pages that I set aside to dry, taking the clips and stuff off. And then you'll see that I get my ink back out and my blending tool to blend those edges and the pages. And uh, then I'll mark the hose on those as well to punch out them and then I'll punch all the hose out. Here I'm going to get a scrap piece of printer paper to put between the pages so I can ink the edges of the tab and it don't get on the other side. I'll also flip it over and do the same thing for the um, back part of this tab as well. Here I'm just kind of trimming the edges a little bit, uh, some pieces that were sticking over to uh, fix those.
So here I'm just kind of lining them up to see um, how thick it's going to be and how it looks and stuff. You see there that I'm showing you the spots where I've got marked to use my crop dial punch to cut out the hose. So all I'm doing now is cutting, uh, punching out the hose for all the pages and getting them ready to start binding. Now I'm going to um, punch the last page, and then once this page here is um, punched out, then we'll start decorating the covers for the book. Okay, so now I'm going ahead and covering the... Um, Book covers. I'm using a leftover scrap piece of paper of the kind of the journaling and postages and stuff, and then I'll be uh, collaging them as well. And as you can see, I left a little space but, um, from the um, hose that was punched out. Um, I've done that on purpose. I want it like that so it gives it more of a um, roughy, natural look. Um, because I like the, the chipboard look when it comes to traveling and stuff. Because, you know, it kind of reminds of the suitcases, how they used to feel and stuff. So, I left like that on purpose. However, if you don't like it, you can always cover it up and punch the hose with the paper. Or paint it or stain it or however you want to do it. But this is how I wanted it. So, all I'm doing here is using scrap pieces of paper to just collage it together to match the inner pages. As well as put it all together. So, it fits all together. So here I'm just cutting the excess off of the book covers of the pages that stuck over. Here I'm using my distress tool to um, rough the edges um, of the Tim Holtz cardstock shattered paper so it matches the inner pages that we done with it as well. Just make sure that when you're um, covering the covers that you cover them front and back so yeah. that you open the pages of the cover that hits uh, decorated in the inside as well.
Okay, so here I'm stacking all the pages on top with the covers. So make sure the hose and stuff that we punched out is okay with them and that it's um, all looking together and fitting properly and stuff. Okay, so here you see I'm using um, hemp rope, and um, I did was was going to corsage them, but it didn't turn out that way. So now I'm just going to go in in each hoe and tie um, individual strings in each hoe, and then you'll see as I show you. So when I get them through, I do double knot them, and then the edge, I leave a little bit of piece of the string um, sticking out, and I'll just use my fingers to kind of pull them apart, uh, separate the twine, so it gives it more of a roughy, roughy look as well. Okay, so here I'm about halfway through it, and um, I'm starting to getting close to running out of the brown thread, and I'll start using the white thread. So um, just go ahead, I'm going to finish tying these um, pages together with each hoe. So here I'm showing you where I did the white because I ran out of the tan. And you can see now that I bought the binding it looks like with them all tied together in little knots and they're roughed up and stuff to give it more of a roughiness and stuff. So here I'm showing you the edges um, with the bottom of it kind of uh, a little bit longer than the top and stuff. And then I'm also showing you that some of the pages sticks up right there. Um, I wanted them to stick up like that it kind of looks like a bookmark and stuff so i that's how i wanted it and uh, all i done was um one of the hose that i had cut out i had um put one of the hose that i had put out i had um skipped it and left it up out and then uh just raised a page up here i'm using the uh stampin up travel stamp and i'll be using the ship 
the globe, the suitcase, and the little uh, travel log. And I'm just using an acrylic book by Apple Pie and just stamping them um, in different pages. I'm using my Studio G black ink and just stamping it in random places that I thought that I would uh, like them at. And then here I've got off my, my hot off the press uh, stamp cleaner that I'm using to clean my stamps so that the black won't stain the stamps. I'm also using the Ranger uh, clear stamp dauber to put some on it before I clean on, my, off, on the hot off the press. I used the ship stamp on top of the cover and then right below the little white space so I can write my uh, logo on the, in the white space above it. Here I'm just using a Sharpie black marker to write my logo because um, I don't have a stamp that's really big enough to um, write the word that I want so I'm just writing travel real curly and cursive. I'm also putting the year that I made this journal in the back uh, bottom corner so I can remember when I made it. And here is what the final project look. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, check out these video, the pictures here of it. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my blog at www.createfromtheheart.wibby.com. And stay tuned for more of the, this month's video series.